processor, automation, and all the mods 10. Let's get started. Let's go over the things that we need. Starting off at number one, I recommend a Certus Quartz wrench, and this will allow you to rotate the inscriber in its proper position. Under that, we're gonna need five inscribers and each associated press to go inside all but one. So that would be the silicon, logic, calculation, and engineering. As far as the networking side goes, we're gonna need a pattern provider, interface, six storage buses, three export buses, 11 Fluix smart cables, they could be really any smart cable, and two quartz fibers. Now to ensure smooth operation, I recommend having 32 acceleration cards. This is optional, of course, but this will definitely help speed things up later down the road. To the right, this would be our filtering, and this is what's gonna go inside the buses when we set everything up. And so we need to have one of each resource, that would be redstone, silicon, gold, Certus and diamond. Under that is its printed product, the printed silicon, logic, calculation, and engineering. And below that is the completed processor for logic, calculation, and engineering. And I'm going to try to keep these in this order just for consistency. All right, so let's go ahead and start the build. Let's go ahead and grab our Certus Quartz wrench and our five inscribers. We're going to start by placing three on the bottom, one in the middle. So if we shift right click, this one we're going to rotate, and this is the only one that we're rotating. All we have to do is right click once. And that's it. So next, let's grab a filler block and we're gonna place it on the third most on the right and coming around back, we're gonna place our final inscriber, just like that. So now that we have our inscribers placed, let's go ahead and input all of our buses here. So go ahead and grab your six storage buses, your three export buses, the quartz fiber, and the Fluix Smart Cable. But actually, uh, hold on on that just a second because we're gonna have to input some filtering here. So let's just go ahead and start with the storage buses first and then we'll do the export. So we'll go ahead and come around back and on the back, each inscriber is going to get a storage bus. Coming over this way. That one's gonna also get a storage bus. So that leaves us with one left and that goes here. And that is the storage buses. Next, we're going to go ahead and place our export buses. One here. One here. And let's go back to the chest and grab our advanced pattern provider and our ME interface. And we're going to go ahead and stick this. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we're going to stick this right here. Put our ME interface and our other export bus right here. Just like that. We can also place our quartz fiber. You gotta shift right click. And on the provider here. Next, we can start loading in the presses. So, let's go ahead and grab our silicon, logic, calculation, and engineering. Starting off at number one, this back inscriber is gonna be the silicon. Coming over to the front, we're gonna go in order logic, calculation, and engineering. These will get their presses. This center one will not be getting a press as this is to complete the final product with the printed silicon, printed circuits, and the redstone. Next, we're going to implement our expansion cards. This part is optional, so if you don't wish to do this, you can skip to the next part of the video. We're going to grab by getting our acceleration cards and our capacity cards, and we're just going to dump these into each inscriber. Starting off with just the acceleration to get all of these up to speed equally. Next, the export buses. We're going to add four acceleration cards there, four acceleration cards here, and four on this export bus. Next, only two of these export buses need a capacity card. One here, and one here. All right, so now we can start the filtering process. So let's go ahead and grab all of our resources, our printed and our processors. And now let's head over to the back here. And we're gonna start in order, starting with logic. We're gonna come over to the storage bus in the back. We're gonna place one gold and one printed logic circuit. And we're gonna do that for the next two. So for the calculation, we're gonna do one Certus Quartz and one calculation processor. Circuit, I'm sorry. And the next one, we're gonna do diamond and the engineering. So just for organization's sake, there we go. On the back here, for the silicon, we're gonna place one raw silicon. On the back of the completed inscriber, we're going to go ahead and place one redstone, one logic processor, oops, sorry, oh, one calculation processor, and one engineering processor. Now, if we come back to the front here, on the completed inscriber, we're going to place one printed silicon circuit, printed silicon, sorry, and we're going to place one of each printed circuit. That would be logic, engineering, 
and calculation. I'm sorry, logic, calculation, and engineering. My brain is not braining today. Bear with me. Okay, finally, over on this export bus on the pattern provider, we're going to go ahead and implement our completed circuits as well. Just like that. And as far as the filtering goes, that's it. All right, so if you made it this far and I haven't bored you yet, I congratulate you because now we can hook everything up. So let's go ahead and grab our Fluix Smart Cables. We're going to place one here, shift right click. We're going to place one here, place one here. And now let's hook all of these guys up. Boom. Come around here and hook it up to this export bus. And now we just need power. We'll get that coming right across here. Just like that. Now to make sure that everything works, let's go ahead and build our ME system and see if we have all eight channels. All right, so while you weren't looking, I went ahead and assembled just a quick ME system with a crafting monitor, crafting storage, and co-processing unit. And this is key because this is going to allow us to control everything here. Over here, we have an ME pattern encoding terminal and a ME crafting terminal. That's optional. You can obviously just use a terminal, but I like the crafting terminal. And then of course our ME controller, storage drive, and 164K drive. This is just for testing purposes. So now let's go ahead and hook this up here. And if this works, we should see all eight channels active. And we do. All eight channels are there and it has power. So the next thing that we need to do is input our patterns in the pattern provider. So Let's go ahead and go over to the pattern encoding terminal, and we're gonna go ahead and switch this to processing patterns because this is a processing process, and we're gonna go ahead and tell the machine that we want to make these completed processors. So let's go ahead and start with the logic. So we're gonna say that a printed logic, silicon, and redstone is gonna equal a completed logic processor. Just like that. Now let's go ahead and do the same for the other two processors. So let's go ahead and populate these in our pattern provider. So as you can see, as we populated the pattern provider, if we head over to our pattern terminal, we now have the option to craft what we just encoded. So let's go ahead and see if they work. All right, so now that we have this online, all eight channels are there and it's hooked up to our ME system. Let's go ahead and give this a test to see if this works. Let's go ahead and go to my encoding terminal because this is where I have it set to where I can craft these. And let's just craft uh, 100 engineering. Next, it shows we have two craft. We have available silicon, redstone, and the resource diamond to do it. We'll go ahead and hit start. And now we wait for the magic. Sweet. Let's go check on it. Yep. As you can see, it is fully operational, fully functioning. Let's go ahead and check the other two processors. I'm going to sneak right through here. Oh, actually, I need to uh, cancel that. Let's try the calculation. Yep, calculation's working. We'll cancel that. And let's try the logic. Sweet. That is awesome. That is it for this video. If this helped you, leave me a like. If you have any questions, drop me a comment. I'll do my best to answer. This is part one of a tutorial series for All the Mods 10 and automation. I will see you all in the next one.